Ooh, Chandler Martha. Why did you say that name? <laughs> if you don't get that reference, go watch Batman v Superman. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Pokemon Christmas. I'm your host, you already know, DJ Stocking Stuffer. And in today's episode, we are going to battle the next gym leader. I'm not sure what gym leader this is. I think it's the third or fourth fourth gym leader at Critique City. We're going to battle the gym leader. We're going to have a great time. I'm hyped, and if you guys are hyped, make sure you hit that like button for me. You guys are the best. And before we get started, you already know I got to plug the brand new merch. I am rocking that hashtag, always plugging shirt. And if you guys want merch, and if you want this shirt, you know where to go. Shop.original151.com. You guys are the best. Also, it's available in short sleeve, long sleeve, multiple colors. We got your stickers. We got your mugs. You guys know how we do it on shop.original151.com. And now that we got the plugging out of the way, we are going to begin today's episode with a very quick team recap to get everybody up to speed on what the squad is looking like. So here we have my boy Noah, the Kabuto at level 20 with the move Scratch Hard and Absorb and Leer. Next up, we got my boy Sh Sh Staven the shiny Quilava at level 22, holding the smoke ball with the moves Tackle, Quick Attack, Mud Slap, and Flame Ball. Next up, we got Sparky. Look at that back to back shinies. Sparky the shiny Pikachu at level 17 with the moves Thundershock, Quick Attack, Double Team, and Thunder Wave. The team is looking good today, ladies and gentlemen. Next up, we got Luxy the Radicate. Psych Boy! Eradicate at level 24 with the moves tackle scary face quick attack and hyper fang and this gal right here hands down the MVP of the squad moving forward next up we got Joseph the Pidgeotto who evolved in the previous episode and if you guys missed that episode I highly recommend that you go back and check it out because it was an amazing episode level 19 with the moves tackle sand attack gust and quick attack and I believe last but not least we have Sean is a Ziggy Zagoon at level 15 holding the experience share because he wants to eat up some leftover EXP and he's got the moves tackle sand attack cut and headbutt and yes that is the entire team that is the squad moving forward so like I said we are going to take on the next gym leader and again I think it's the fourth gym let me just double check if I can go to my badges yes this will be the fourth gym badge in this game and breaking the fourth wall as I always love to do it is currently December 19th okay Christmas is in four days will we get this game done by Christmas you can bet your bottom dollar we will because here's the game plan like I said in the previous episode I think I talked about this in the previous episode but anyway if we are really close to Christmas like if it's December 23rd and we are nowhere near close to finishing this game which is you know that seems to be the case that seems to be what is going to happen we will do a very long live stream and we will beat the entire game in one single live stream it's going to be amazing I am excited where the fuck is the gym or sorry should I say where the fuck is the gym no but seriously where's the gym I, I need to here we go here's the gym and I asked my mom so politely I said mom please I'm about to record could you not move any furniture above my head when I get started she said yeah no problem I'm gonna be in the other room anyway <sighs> seems like she lied to me because I don't know if you guys could hear that but it sounds like there's an earthquake occurring above my head it drives me bananas when I'm in the zone when I'm commentating when I'm flowing like a river and then I hear <clears throat> come from the top of the ceiling very frustrating but it's okay because I'm in a great mood today I woke up super late to give you guys an update on what my game plan was for the day I wanted to wake up early but I've been so my sleep schedule has been so fucked because you guys know I've been watching The Office every single night till about like 5, 6, sometimes 7 in the morning. And then I sleep all day. I wake up. I hit the gym today, which was good. I got an amazing arm workout, did some cardio. My cousin Cardia, she's in for the weekend. No, bad joke. Okay, I'll keep it moving. But seriously, I did some cardio. It was lovely. Me and my friend Anthony always used to joke around like when we would say we were doing cardio for the weekend. We'd say my cousin Cardia. She's coming in for the weekend. We're going to get on that elliptical with Katia. You know what I'm saying? Cardio, Katia, my cousin. You guys know what I'm talking about. Terrible joke, I know, but it made us laugh. Anyway, I did some cardio. It was lovely. I did 15 minutes on the Stairmaster, and then I did 30 minutes on the spin bike. I believe it's a spin bike. The bike that doesn't move. It's not like an actual bike, but you still pedal on it, and it provides resistance. That was great. So, yeah, I did that, and then I came home, and I was like, yo, you should probably eat some dinner before you record, but then I was like... Nah, fuck that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna record the episode before dinner because I want to make sure that I get this episode up for you guys at a decent time. And like I say, I love to break the fourth wall just like my boy Deadpool. 
It's 7.57 p.m. So hopefully if this episode is going to be around 25 to 30 minutes, I can edit it, export it, and upload it for you guys as soon as possible. The overall edits to these uh, episodes in the series, they don't take a long time. The one thing that does take a little bit of time is trying to come up with an intro and then executing the intro and making sure that the intro is perfect because if you guys know anything about me, I have really crazy OCD. I'm a perfectionist and I want to make sure that the intros are always getting better every single episode. I want to make sure that I am, you know, challenging myself to provide really awesome intro content and a really cool thing that I love about the intros is that you never know what you're gonna get. You could get something completely random. You could get something directly related to the story of the game. I am a crazy individual and my brain goes very, very fast when I'm executing intros. So you never know what you're gonna get is basically what I'm trying to say. It's like a beautiful surprise. Is that something that you guys really look forward to? Cause me as a viewer, I love it when content creators do intros because you never know how things are going to start. You just click play, and hopefully you're laughing within the first 10 to 15 seconds. That's always a beautiful thing. Like, when you guys leave comments and you say, I'm only 30 seconds into the video and I'm already laughing, that is something that drives me, something that motivates me so much, something that makes me want to wake up every day and continue to challenge myself and to continue to make the best videos of my career. And that's what I want to do every single day. A lot of you guys are always saying, you know, Vinny, you say that you're going to record the best episode of your career pretty much every day. Yeah! Because I'm trying to best myself every single day. Like Eminem says in his brand new album, aka Recovery, on the track, I believe it's on Offended. He says, my competition can't see me because I don't own a mirror. Do you get it? Because his competition is himself and his competition can't see him because he doesn't own a mirror. He is not looking inside of a mirror. That's how I feel. My competition can't see me because I don't own a mirror. I am my only competition. And that's the way I like to look at life. I like to look at life in the perspective of, no, I'm not worried about what he's doing, I'm not worried about what she's doing, I'm worried about what I'm doing. Am I getting better every single day? Am I improving myself? Where the fuck do we go right now? Okay, here we go. I always hated this gym, thinking back to when I was a kid, because there's no distinct path. You don't know where the fuck you gotta go. Yeah, puffball, you're getting in on this conversation, I completely feel you, but let's, you know, swing that over there. I don't understand how girls with super long hair deal with it, because this is like the equivalent to me, at least from my perspective on what it would be like to have like really long hair, this is driving me fucking crazy. Can we just like tape it to the side of the back of my ear? You know what I'm sizzling? But why did I go for tackle? I meant to go for ember. That was a silly mistake. I mean, this thing went for curse, so it got rid of half of its, not half, but yeah, no, half of its HP. I believe that's half or close to half at least, but we're going to go for the flame ball and this should take down the Haunter, because if you know anything about Ghastly Haunter and Gengar, they are glass cannons. They can hit you hard, but their defenses are not very good. Sean grows a level 17. That is beautiful. We really gotta pick up the pace with the speed up button, because I keep making a joke about it, like, yo, you know, it's close to Christmas, and we're not anywhere near to be done. We're gonna do a live stream. We are literally four days away from December 25th, Christmas, and we're nowhere near the end of this game. I mean, granted, when we're done with this episode, we will have our fourth gym badge, which means we are technically halfway there, which is definitely a good thing. But we are definitely going to have to pick up the pace. And I just said definitely many times, but seriously, it's the word of the day. Definitely. Let's come up here. Don't fall. Beautiful. Okay. Now, I feel like the next path that we have to go, it's going to be a little bit tricky, but I think that I can figure it out. And when I said it's tricky, it made me think of the amazing classic Run DMC song, It's Tricky. It's tricky to rock around, to rock around, that's right, all time is tricky! And if you younger people out there don't know what that song is, please go listen to Run DMC. I have really been telling you guys a lot of new music that you can that you should check out. This is old school stuff. Go listen to Run DMC, It's Tricky, my Adidas, bruh. These songs are on another level, and you guys will really enjoy them, especially if you're a fan of hip-hop in general. I think that you guys will really enjoy it. It's Tricky, you've definitely heard. If one of you, if some of you guys have never heard It's Tricky, I want you to let me know in the comments down below, and then I want you to go listen to it and give your review in the comments as well. I want you to leave two comments if you've never heard the song. That is the game plan. And I gotta say, after doing 45 minutes of cardio, water tastes so much better, and I just fell. Okay, so let's do this. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to come over here. I want to come up to her. I want to walk across, then come this way. Then I want to walk across again. Should I go up now? Up. Okay, we made it to her. Now, once we make it to her, how do we make it to the gym leader? That is something that I want to figure out. That is something that I want to... Ooh! Chandler Martha! Why did you say that name? <laughs> <laughs> If you don't get that reference, go watch Batman v Superman. You know, that movie and that scene in particular, the Martha scene, got so much flack on the internet and so many people hated it. 
I didn't mind it that much looking back on it now. I think when the movie first came out, I was kind of like, what the fuck? Like, why didn't he just say, my mom's in danger? You know what I mean? But the more that I look back on that movie, the more that I actually enjoy it. And I don't have that many pet peeves with it like I did when I first saw it. I, I, I own the ultimate cut. I actually have it on my phone. I bought it on iTunes. The ultimate cut is amazing. And I know I've told you guys this before, but... If you've never seen the ultimate cut of BVS, definitely go watch it because it really is such a better movie. And I believe it's close to three hours, which is crazy. So if you got three hours and you got nothing to do and you want to enjoy a movie, kick back, relax, watch BVS. But again, BVS is not for everybody. Like, the cool thing about entertainment in general, any sort of media, movies, TV shows, music, it's all subjective. So something that I like, you might completely hate. I feel like I like a lot of things. <laughs> like, I'm very easily entertained. I know that me and Dobbs were talking about this in uh, one of the episodes in our Red and Blue Versus, by the way, the Red and Blue Versus is done. So if you've been missing out on a couple episodes, you're going to want to watch till the end because the finale went up on our channel yesterday, which is crazy. And the game plan for me and Dobbs is we want to start Gold and Silver this Friday, a.k.a. what's the date going to be on Friday? Today is Tuesday and it's the 19th, so Wednesday is going to be the 20th, Thursday is going to be the 21st, and Friday is going to be the 22nd. So the 22nd of December, that is the game plan. We are trying to start the new series then. There's a lot that we got to do behind the scenes to get this series ready, but the art is already done, so that's a beautiful thing. And I got to tell you guys right now, if you guys want a little behind the scenes sneak peek or a little behind the scenes information, the art is so damn clean, and you guys are going to love it. But yeah, the healthy lifestyle has been going really well. I told you guys, I believe it was a couple episodes ago, I told you guys I was going to get back on track Start eating clean, start training more than ever in the gym, making those gains, baby! And I've been doing very good this week, and I'm very excited to say that when I'm done with this recording, I'm going to go upstairs and have some, probably some chicken. That's probably what I'm going to eat for dinner tonight, but something healthy. Chicken, some vegetables, it's going to be awesome. Can I walk across? Yes, I can. Ladies and gentlemen, but yeah, I feel better. I, I mean, I don't really feel too good lately, this week in particular, because like I said, I've been watching The Office till 5 a.m., so I gotta fix the sleep patterns, but as far as eating clean and training hard, I've been doing very well. So, also, shout out to my boy in real life, Shta, Shta, Shtaven, a.k.a. Apple Tech Support, because he is also getting on the healthy lifestyle kick with me, so that is awesome. Let's get some hype for Shtaven up in the comments. This man has been Snapchatting me his healthy meals throughout the day, and it's just so inspiring that my boy is doing it, I'm doing it. Do you want to do it? Let's all do it. Giggity. Anyway, I'm going to start off with Shaven in the front so we can take down this gym leader as soon as possible, and let's read his dialogue because he is an important character that has important things to say. Good of you to have come! <laughs> On my face! Giggity! <laughs> I had to do it. I just, I had to do it. When I see the opportunity for a giggity joke, I have to take it. Here, Necrotique, Pokemon I've been revered. It's said that legendary Pokemon will appear to the truly powerful trainers. I believe that tale, so I've secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. Just a bit more. With a little more, I can see a future in which I meet the legendary Pokemon. You're going to help me reach that level. All right, let's make it happen, my dude. I get a very nice voice, by the way. It reminded me a little bit of Mr. Satan, a.k.a. Hercule from Dragon Ball Z. I gotta say, I did a little bit of a pretty decent Hercule impression right there. Yeah, brother! We're gonna battle Cell, and we're gonna kill that man! That clearly was not dialogue taken from the show, but I wanted to improvise a little bit. That kind of sounds like Mr. Satan. It's not the best impression. I'm not an impressionist, you know what I'm sizzling? But we're gonna take down this Ghastly probably in one hit because Flame Ball is powerful. It is stabbed. This motherfucker lived. How dare you tell me... You're gonna kill yourself. How does a ghost kill itself? How is a ghost alive in general? Because a ghost is dead, but a ghost has a consciousness. It knows what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. It's it's a weird thing. A ghost is self-conscientious of its being. Are these words that I'm even saying right now? I don't know if they're words. <laughs> I think they're words. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna take a sip of this water and mind my own business. Sometimes when I'm commentating, I'll say a word, and I'll think to myself, fuck, I really hope that I use that word in the proper context, and then I will think right after that, fuck, I hope that was a word to begin with. Did I just make up a word? <laughs> it happens sometimes. It happens to the best of us. But honestly, it's okay. Because like I preach to you guys all the time, nobody's perfect, and there's going to be times where you say something that just doesn't make sense, and you're going to have to just get back on the horse, and you're going to have to continue trotting down the lane. You know what I'm saying? Because horses love to run down lanes, and Steven is dead! Dang flabbit, Steven! Alright, I'm gonna send in Sparky, because Sparky should be able to outspeed this thing. Go for the Thundershock. And we do not outspeed him, we get hit by the Shadow Ball! That's probably gonna kill us. Okay, Sparky, it's a crit! And that right there, that crit mattered. So many crits have been mattering, maturing lately? So many crits matter. That's 
we're really getting into territory where I don't know if I'm using proper grammar anymore. Uh, we're gonna go out to... Who do we go out to in a position like this? I guess Joseph? I mean, Joseph might be able to outspeed. I hope, at least. We're gonna go for the Gust. Psy Wave, we should be able to eat that up. That's not very effective. We're gonna eat that up. That's neutral. Okay, I stand corrected. I thought for some reason Psychic would be not very effective against me, but that's okay. All right. As long as we... Okay, you know why? I, I just realized something. Let's start over because my mind's just traveling way too fast right now. It's going way too... It's going way too high of, an, of a miles per hour. What am I saying? I was trying to say... <laughs> Oh my god! Let's regroup. I had like eight things that I wanted to say at the same time, and then my brain was just like, shutting down. But my brain's okay now. It's not going for Shadow Ball, because Shadow Ball would not affect us, because we are normal and flying. So it's going for the Psy Wave, or Psy Beam, whatever the fuck that move was, but luckily, it didn't do that much damage. That was actually terrifying. My brain just shut down. That's something that you don't want to happen in the middle of an episode, especially when everything was great up until this point, that you don't want yourself to just turn off. Uh, we're in some deep shit because, I'll tell you why, Staven is dead, and a Gengar is coming in, and that motherfucker is menacing, and we're probably gonna make that the thumbnail, so I'm gonna take a screenshot right now, I have a button on my controller that I can press, and it will automatically take a screenshot of the gameplay, so that's really cool. Um, I wanna go for, I don't know what I wanna go for, do I have a revive? A revive would be great right now, it really would, I don't think I have, oh, I have a revive! Let's revive Staven! There we go. See, that's when Lady Luck is on your side right there. That's when Lady Luck takes you out to dinner, gets you some lobster, but no. I'm paying for dinner, Lady Luck, because I'm a fucking gentleman, all right? I'm gonna take the bill. We're gonna go back to the pack. Back to the pack. Gonna smack this gang Gar in the back, and we are going to heal Staven up to full health, and now, once we're done with Joseph... He should be able, well, Steven should be able to take down the Gengar. You're going for the mean look. That is totally okay. That is totally awesome. That's fine by me. We're still going to connect with the Gus. It's probably going to do nothing. Yeah, that does not do a lot of damage. But honestly, this thing might not have anything to hit me with. It might only have attacking moves that are ghost type, which means we're in the clear. But now we're asleep, which is kind of annoying. <sighs> That's a high quality H2O, and it does have... Dream Eater, and I started talking way too fast. I should have swallowed first. Giggity. A lot of giggity jokes today. Very weird episode. I'm feeling very weird. I'm feeling sexy and free. We're gonna go for the Flame Ball. Don't put me to sleep. It did not affect Staven. Beautiful. Now, see, here's the problem. This thing is very, very fast. I only have, I believe, one more Flame Ball after this one, so how much damage is this gonna do? Wow, that does nothing. Okay, uh, we're gonna go for another Flame Ball. Shadow Ball is going to do a lot of damage because it's Stab and Gengar has very, very high attacking power. Can we get a burn? If we can get a burn right now, that would be B-E-A beautiful. To quote the great Jim Carrey, no burn. But we did get a defense drop. Now, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go for the Super Potion to get Staven back up to full health because if Staven dies, we are in deep doo-doo. And by deep doo-doo, I mean we are fucked. We literally won't be able to beat this guy. We're probably going to have to do some grinding if that's the case. <sighs> Okay, can you not go for Shadow Ball? Like, I don't mean to waste all of my potions, you know what I'm sizzling? But I really don't want to get hit by a Shadow Ball again. You're going to outspeed. Okay, as long as he keeps going for Shadow Ball, we're pretty much fucked right here. I wish I would have equipped the Quick Claw to Staven. I mean, what we could do is just stall out the Shadow Balls, but I'm running out of potions. So should I... How much PP does Shadow Ball have? I would look it up, but I like the sense of mystery and... Okay, disaster! That crit mattered! Clearly! Okay, now, honestly, I don't even know what to do. We are in a position where I just don't know what to do. Because I... Okay, maybe what I could do is... Not get put to sleep. Not get put to sleep. He's gonna go for Dream Eater, so I'm gonna go for the Awakening right now. I mean, what I could do... <sighs> Ooh! That was a nice burp right there. I don't even know what that tastes like, but I'm not gonna describe it any further because I will throw up and you will throw up and everyone will throw up. STOP IT! Gengar, you fuck! Okay, this is actually a problem. We are probably gonna have to come back here and have a new strategy to take down this Gengar because now he's just gonna sweep our entire team. Now, none of my moves will do anything to him because he is a ghost type. Just kill me. Just kill me, Gengar, you stupid, fat, ghostly bitch. Okay, so, you guys know, I'm not the biggest fan of grinding. I think there is a way that we can take down this Gengar without grinding. We just have to make sure that it cannot... We got Noah, actually. Noah might be able to come through. No, Noah's asleep. Okay, this was fun. 
This was a great time. Yeah, my whole team just falls asleep on me. Is is the Gengar that good at putting you to sleep that you can't wake up when I say, Hey, Noah, wake up! I'm salty. Can you tell that I'm salty? I just hate... I hate failure, okay? But failure is okay because you learn from your mistakes. Because I'm going to go back in there right now. And I'm going to show you guys that I've learned from my mistakes. I will defeat this man's team if it kills me. Okay? And hopefully it doesn't kill me because then my team is going to be dead again. I'm going to buy a bunch of Awakenings. I'm going to buy a couple of Revives too because we need them. Now here's the game plan. We are going to go for a bunch of, I believe, Sand Attacks would be good to do. Or maybe we can go for Mud Slaps because that will damage the Gengar while also while also lowering his accuracy. Because that's what we have to do. We have to lower this man's accuracy. Now, we have been recording for about 20 minutes, so I'm guessing by the time we take down this gym leader, time will be up for this episode, and we will pick up where we left off tomorrow for a brand new episode of Pokemon Christmas. But I would love it if we can defeat this Gengar very, very fast, and that way we will be able to take care of some more business here in this game. So let's just jump right back into the battle. You know, this is not the first time that I have lost to a gym leader and I've had to come back. But you know what? I will not lose twice in a row. I will defeat Leader Morty. So he's going to send out a Ghastly at level 23. I'm going to send out Staven. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to go for the Flame Ball. No, I really shouldn't waste Flame Balls on the small fish. We got bigger fish to fry. Pun intended. Because, you know, we're going to use fire to fry the fish. That right there is a critical hit. That crit probably mattered, to be completely honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. Who is coming in next? Honestly, just send in the fucking Gengar. Just send in that motherfucking Gengar. Mischievous. Okay, I am going to switch out. To take down the Mischievous, I am going to go out to Joseph. That is the game plan, because I don't think that this Mischievous has really anything that it could throw at me to take down Joseph. It has the Psy Wave, okay? So it's not Psy Beam, it's Psy Wave, but we should be able to eat that up. Granted, I hope it doesn't get any crits. Okay, that does a little bit more damage than I would have hoped, but we should... Oh my god, why does that do nothing? That really does nothing. Now, what's the deal with Psy Wave? Is this the move that it could do more damage or less damage every single turn? That seems like it's doing pretty much the same amount of damage every single turn. So here's what I'm gonna do. New strategy, because I'm a man that loves strategy. I'm gonna go for a Super Potion right now, get back up to full health, and then I'm gonna start going for Sand Attack. That way, this... I don't know what this thing is. This, you know, I was going to say this woman, but it's a male. This male ghost that looks like a woman, okay? We are going to go for a bunch of sand attacks. Mean Look, that's fine. Mean Look has a really cool sounding, um, I was going to say a cool sounding animation. It has a cool sound. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to go for a bunch of sand attacks. That way this man, well, this, yeah, this man, I keep wanting to say this woman. I don't know why. Just, it seems like this is the ghost of a very pretty woman. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? But we're going to keep lowering this thing's accuracy. Heal up. Why are you not missing Psy Waves? A Psy Wave a move that could just never miss? Is that is that something? There we go, it missed! Okay, now we should be in good shape. We're just gonna keep lowering this thing's accuracy. Now we can go for Gust. We can go for the Gusto. Spite did not affect me. That is cool. Keep going for Gust. That was a crit, and that literally did nothing. So now we can go for some super speed here and just keep going for Gust because we are landing the hits, but the Mischievous is not. That is what I like to see. Down goes the Mischievous. So that took some time, but honestly, it was a smart strategy on my part. Go, Vinny, go. Next up is the Gengar. Okay. I am going to send out Staven to take on this Gengar. Now, we are at level 24. It is at level 25. We're going to go for the Mud Slap. It puts me to sleep, and that really ruffles my jammies. But it's okay, because here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the Awakening that we just bought. We bought four of these bitches. He's going to go for the Dream Eater. Very predictable indeed. The attack missed, obviously, because we're not asleep. Now, you go for the hypnosis. It does not affect Staven. We go for the mud slap. Okay, that's going to do some damage, and it's also going to lower your accuracy. It's super effective, so that's a beautiful thing. So we're going to keep going for mud slap. Now, the problem is Shadow Ball does way too much damage. This just happened like 10 minutes ago. Why am I so surprised? Just do not get a crit. Okay, we lowered the accuracy. Now we are going to heal with a super potion. I'm saying everything that I am doing out loud because that's what commentators do. STOP LANDING THE SHADOW BALLS! Okay, this is very frustrating. Very frustrating indeed. Please just miss one time. Bruh, if this thing does not miss, we are not going to win. He's going- We got a special defense drop. That's not good. Please miss. YES! Okay, okay. He missed. Go for another mud slap. The lower we can get his accuracy, the more likely we are to win. Do not get a crit. Do not get a crit. AND HE GETS THE CRIT! THAT- Quit mattered. I am not gonna grind in this series. I refuse to fucking grind. 
It's not going to happen. Okay, luckily his, his accuracy is still lowered. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go for a Thunder Wave. Please miss me. He misses me. Good, because that would have bodied Sparky, a.k.a. Pikachu would have been dead. Dead. Bop, boop, beep, bop, bop. You're dead. We're fine. Julia Roberts. Julia Rob hurts. <laughs> okay. Here's what we're going to do. Revive. Because we need Steven to be alive in order to take down this Gengar. Please miss me. Please give me another opportunity here. Miss. Yes, he missed, you son of a bitch. Okay. Now, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take this opportunity to heal and get Steven back to full health. Because I think the only way we're going to take this thing down is with Steven. Luckily, his accuracy is lowered and he is getting fully paralyzed. So here's what we're going to do now. We're just going to attack. We're outspeeding him because his speed is cut in half because of the paralysis. Oh my god, that is doing nothing. And Sparky is going to die. I don't remember this gym battle being this difficult when you regularly play through Gold and Silver. Does he usually have a Gengar? Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. I don't know, but what we're going to do right now is go for the Mud Slap. We are going to outspeed, so that's a beautiful thing. We're going to lower his accuracy every single turn. And that's the beautiful thing about Mud Slap. And how are you still connecting with these fucking Shadow Balls, mate? Okay, I have to heal. I, I have to play it safe. I have to play it safe here. Okay. He goes for the Shadow Ball. He misses. That gives us another opportunity to hit him again. Mud Slap. If he misses again, that would be ideal. Because then we outspeed. We can hit him again on the following turn. Hypnosis. You're not going to land a Hypnosis. Get the fuck out of my face. I'm going to knock your fucking ghostly ass off the canvas. Let me tell you something right now. Okay. Fully paralyzed. We did it, my dudes. I'm confidently going to say that we are going to take down this Gengar right now. Down goes the Gengar, and that is what I like to see. And we almost get to level 25. We are literally probably a point away from level 25. A Haunter is coming in. I'm going to stay in with Staven because our Staven should be able to take down this Haunter. We are going to go for a Mud Slap. I did not anticipate this entire episode being a gym leader, you know, adventure, but that's what it came down to. The accuracy falls, so the Haunter is going to go for the mean look. That is fine. We go for Flame Ball, because I feel like Stab Flame Ball will do more damage to this thing than a super effective Mud Slap. Is that accurate? We will find out right now. It does, in fact, do more damage. So you go for the Spite, but it does not affect Staven. One more Flame Ball. I should put this thing out of its misery again, because Haunter was probably alive at some point. Then he died. He became the Ghostly Haunter. And then we're going to kill him again. So we're going to kill a ghost. Can you kill a ghost? I don't know. Let's have a discussion about it in the comments down below. Steven grows to level 25. Why do I feel like you're going to have another Gengar? If he has another Gengar, we are so fucked. I really hope that he doesn't have another Gengar. Okay, thank goodness it's a Haunter. Okay, Haunters I can deal with. Gengar? Can't deal with that son of a bitch. He is way too powerful. Let's go for another Flame Ball. Luckily, we have 12 Flame Balls to go. So that should be something that we can definitely make use of. All 12 of those bitches. And that almost does half, which is a beautiful thing. We get a defense drop. He goes for the hypnosis. It does not affect David. And we're going to take down this Haunter. It might live with like a little sliver of red HP. We're going to find out right now. But if we can get a crit, that crit might matter. The crit didn't matter. Yes. Okay, that is awesome. And we finally take down, I believe his name is Morty. Yes, Jim Leader Morty. And we get our fourth or we got our fourth gym badge. That is awesome. What? Sean is evolving? Bruh, this is the moment we've been waiting for. This is what life is all about. Pause. That is going to be the thumbnail. That is going to be the thumbnail. If I had a third arm, I would also point with it. But I only have two. I'm not an octopus. Octopuses have what? Eight arms? We're going to not even dive deeper into that conversation. But... Six arms. Eight? No, it's Octo. Octo is eight. It's got eight arms. Yes, or eight legs, however you want to look at it. Eight tentacles, however you want to look at it. That's what I wanted to say. Eight tentacles. Octopus. They have <laughs> octopus. They have suction cups on their tentacles. Crazy. You ever eat octopus? Octopus is delicious. I love some nice fried calamari. Let me tell you something right now. And we just defeated Morty. So that's great. That's fantastic. Thank you. Did you give us a TM? Did we get Shadow Ball? I would love Shadow Ball. Please tell me you gave me... <laughs> yeah, buddy! Can anybody learn it? Luxie can learn Shadow Ball? Bruh. Luxie, I am definitely going to teach this to you. Now, I know it's not Stab, but dang flab between Nibble and Smiley. Luxie is just going to continue to be more and more of the MVP of the squad. So I'll tell you what, my dudes. We have been recording for 29 minutes. This is the perfect time to stop this episode. And for a second, I thought I wasn't recording my face cam. That would have been an absolute disaster. <laughs> But it's okay, disaster averted. So, 
What we are going to do is we're going to go to the Pokemon Center. We are going to heal up and we're going to wrap up this episode. I believe this is episode... I think it's episode 8. Let me double check on my phone because it's going to drive me crazy. If I say the wrong episode let me go to my library this is episode nine ladies and gentlemen episode nine so if earlier in the episode i said it was episode eight no no it's episode nine and i hope you guys enjoyed this episode so i will see you guys tomorrow for another episode of pokemon christmas it's going to be a very powerful wednesday episode i hope you guys are excited for that and the way things are going i'm thinking we're going to end up doing that live stream so i hope you guys are excited for that I will see you guys tomorrow. Again, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you want the hottest merch, you know where to go. Shop that original 151.com. Hashtag always move microphone. Always plugging. I love these shirts so much. One of my favorite merch drops that we've ever done. Check out the merch shop. Uh, you guys know where to go. I just said it like four times. Um, thanks for watching. I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna go get some food. And then I'm going to watch The Office till probably 5 a.m. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And if you're new here, subscribe. Join the family. You guys are the best. As always, love and respect goes out to everybody. Don't forget to comment, to rate, and to subscribe. This is Original 151. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>